SOLIDWORKS 2016 introduced the ability to create helical threads on cylindrical faces. This was an update I was waiting to see for a while, and I think it's been done pretty well. Using thread, you can define the beginning of a thread, specify an offset, set end conditions, specify the size, diameter, pitch and rotation angle, and choose various options, such as right or left-handed threading. Thread types are chosen from a list of custom profile sketches that you can create and store as library features. Using this lag bolt as an example, I'm actually going to do a command search for thread and show the command location, which I can see is accessed from the whole wizard dropdown. I'll go ahead and select the front edge of the cylindrical face, and a preview appears. I'll leave the default start angle, and then set an end condition of blind at 3 inches. Now in this case, I'm using an inch die type thread because I want to remove material from the bolt, like a die would. You can see from the preview that if I used the inch tap option, it would create a reverse thread. Now if I wanted to add thread material to the model, I could use this option along with the extrude thread method. There's even a default thread option for bottle mouths. I'm going to stick with an inch die at 0.75 by 10 here though. I can also override both the diameter and thread pitch if what I needed wasn't available. Additional options let me change between right and left-handed threading as well. And since thread features can be resource intensive, there are three different preview options to choose from depending on your computer's capabilities. Profile options let me mirror, angle, and locate a profile. This works basically the same as with Weldman profiles. I'll go ahead and accept the feature to view the new thread. And as you can see, it still needs to extend a little further past the front of the bolt. So I'll jump back into the feature and check the offset option towards the top. This lets me start the thread at an offset to produce the result I'm looking for. Note that I could also use the sketch point at the front of the face to determine an offset start location. Next, I'll go ahead and update the thread length to make up for the offset. And you can see the new feature now looks as expected. A few additional notes here on thread. If you want to save new thread profiles, you'll need to save the sketch as a library feature part, like this one here. To the location defined under System Options, File Locations, Thread Profiles. Also, Thread did not replace cosmetic threads, and if you find that your machine performs a little slowly using threads, you could still toggle cosmetic threads on or off from Document Properties, Detailing.